we're recording. Some folks are hoarding. We've been ordered. Stay at home. I'm the daddy. And I'm the big boy. And we hope to bring you joy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Daddy and the Big Boy. I'm Ben McCain, the daddy. And I'm Zach McCain, the big boy. We had a great Sunday morning. We were yeah. up early. We watched the commander preach at Bay City, South Bay, and Torrance. Great service. Talked about Daniel in the lion's den. We also heard a great message from Dr. Charles Stanley. In fact, two messages from him yeah. out of Atlanta. That guy is just full of wisdom. Got the news Friday night that TV icon... Regis Philbin passed away. Your Uncle Butch and I interviewed him 20 years ago when we were working at KCBS here in Los Angeles. Why don't you play the video there? McCain okay, Brothers, feel about Regis Philbin yeah. the way you feel about Harry Como. Yes, this guy loves you. I mean, he's driven, he's driven all the way to Tunica, Mississippi to see you in concert. He's read all your books. And how was, how, how was the show at this I loved it. And I, this was, this was well, Green Millionaire. Well, that's right. You know, and we, uh, he liked you back then. I liked you back then. All of a sudden, uh, like I'm talking to two Regis's. <laughs> the McCain Brothers it's are too, incredible. they're too much. Get them out of here. We're out of control. Hey, Rachel, did you ever think you'd have a game that would sell like a million copies in six weeks? No, never, never. I, uh, I didn't even know what they were talking about when they said we're going to do a CD-ROM. You know, I don't, I don't know how to get into a computer. So uh, I went out to Chicago and sat there with the Jelly Vision guys, and we put together this game. And I said, I can't wait to see what this looks like because... I had no idea. And then finally I saw it and I was bowled over. Now tell me, if I win the million dollars on the CD-ROM, do I come to you to collect? Yeah, and I'll give you a new tie to wear. This is out, pal. And on. this is out. Come and on, this is it. Now, you you can't didn't feel it, though. You didn't feel it. <laughs> what the? What is that? <laughs> Get with it, McCain, brother. Well, we want to talk about your friend John Severino. John Severino says he saved ABC because he hired you twice. Uh, yeah, that's right. As a matter of fact, he's the guy that brought me back the second time, took me to New York, and and from that, the whole thing started, and I owe him a big debt. He's a great general manager and a great guy. I love him. Well, again, we feel around Regis Building the way you feel about Perry Coma. It's, it's an honor. Zach? The McCain brothers. That was Regis Pilba, a TV legend, TV broadcasting legend. He passed away, and um, boy, I'm telling you what, he was, uh, he was a special guy. And it's interesting when you interview people, when they know that you're interested in them, they seem to be interested in the uh, interview. You follow me? If you're interested in them, and sometimes I've interviewed people, and if you show up well, with their book, whoa, 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 you show up with their book, Yes. you show up with their book, you show up with their book, or you show up with their record or something for them to sign, and they, they know that you're interested in their career, so that's something for you to think about in the future, because you're probably going to be interviewing a lot of people the way you're headed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think Regis would sure get a kick out of you, but he was, uh, he, he was special. Let's uh, close it out with our prayerful song. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Lord Jesus, Jesus please protect, protect us from the coronavirus. Oh, Lord Jesus, please correct us. Those who want to harm us, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, please protect us. You know what? Let's do it one more time to close it out again, okay? Yeah, you were yawning. yawning, and I think I said correct us. Well, we probably need some correcting too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Lord Jesus, please protect us from the coronavirus. Oh, Lord Jesus, please correct us. Those who want to harm us. We're going to start it again. We're going to get it right. Okay, yes, yes, correct us. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking right. we need some correcting. Okay, yeah. here we go. Lord Jesus, please protect us from the coronavirus. Oh, Lord Jesus, please protect us. Those who want to harm us. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, please protect us. That was still funny, right? Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.